With colon cancer, we now know that not all of them are the same. And so your doctor probably has already ordered some gene tests on your cancer. And these are very, very important because they're teaching us about what medicines to use in what setting. And these are not gene tests on your normal cells, these are gene tests on your cancer cells. And so usually this has been sent to some pathology lab, either at your hospital or someplace further. And they're key genes that you must know for your cancer. So one, you need to know something called RAS, R-A-S. And though there's a bunch of RASs, there's KRAS and HRAS and NRAS, and you need to know them all to know whether your tumor has a mutation in those or not. That matters. Secondly, you need to know something called MSI, microsatellite instability. And everyone's really aware of this because those patients, although rare, who are MSI high are the ones that respond much better to the new immune therapies. You also need to know something called HER2, H-E-R2. This is actually a breast cancer marker, but it turns out that some patients with colon cancer have a broken HER2 gene in their tumor, and some of the breast cancer drugs are working for colon cancer. And then in sort of a weird way, you need to know what side your cancer was on, because certain drugs will work on the left side that don't work on the right side. So where that primary tumor was, for unclear reason, dictates uh, which drugs will work when. And the last one that you need to know is something called BRAF, B-R-A-F, and that matters because 9% or so of colon cancer patients have this mutation, and there's some new treatment strategies for that group of patients. So know your tumor, know all of those, write them down, you will be a better patient, you'll get better outcomes.